News from the United States increasingly resembles a kaleidoscope. Someone hastily changed into Democratic shoes, and someone looking at Trump's calmness began to slowly take them off. The Biden administration announces they will use the National Guard to establish COVID vaccination centers across the country. Biden promised to give 100 million injections in the first 100 days. I wonder if snipers will work with cartridges loaded with vaccine. Washington state Democrats are trying to pass legislation that can ensure they win all future elections and prevent any public disclosure of fraud embedded in the process. Mexican President Andres Manuel Obrada has pledged to fight against censorship from social media giants that have blocked you, as President Donald Trump's access to their platforms. The administration of President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrada is reaching out to other governments to form a united front on this issue. Despite Trump's fake news and social media censorship, according to a large poll, 78% of his voters believe the election was stolen. Joe Biden's team is postponing inauguration rehearsal, claiming security threats. Georgia Gov. Brian Kemp condemns the storming of the Capitol and cites the peaceful protests in honor of George Floyd, as a result of which the country suffered $2 billion in damage. Signal messaging crashes after huge influx of new users. Tens of millions of new accounts have been registered this week alone. Facebook has restored Donald Trump's account. He is listed as a political candidate. Trump's career continues. Or did Zuckerberg put shoe covers over his slippers? Antifa activist Daniel Allen Baker is arrested for a conspiracy to assassinate Trump supporters and police on Inauguration Day. Fox News is reportedly considering hiring the brother of a former Obama advisor as the new CEO. These are no longer shoe covers. This is the replacement of legs with prostheses. A few days ago, federal agents detained Antifa and Baum leader John Sullivan. An investigation revealed that he was responsible for groups of marauders disguised as Trump supporters. However, despite this, Sullivan was released yesterday without bail. Additionally, U2B has removed the Gateway Pundit's investigation into him. Democratic double standards in all its glory. The U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee has released transcripts of interviews conducted during the oversight of the Hurricane Crossfire investigation. Crossfire Hurricane is the code name for a counterintelligence investigation conducted by the FBI from July 31, 2016 to May 17, 2017. The investigation concerns the notorious and unproven connection between Trump and Russian officials who allegedly coordinated the efforts of the Russian government to interfere in the 2016 US presidential election. My pillow founder and CEO, businessman Mike Lindell, visited the White House yesterday for a meeting with President Trump. Leaving the building, Lindell assured everyone that President Trump would be president for another four years. Keep the faith. Lindell wrote on his Facebook page. We will have four more years of Donald Trump's presidency. Parler CEO John Mates went into hiding with his family after death threats. Due to censorship from big tech towards Parler, the free speech alternative to Twitter became the fastest growing social media company until they were deplanted by Amazon, Apple and Google in a coordinated attack. According to new documentation from Parler's lawyers, John Mates was forced to leave his home with his family and go into hiding after receiving threats. A more complete picture of what Washington looks like now. Troops are stationed in the District of Columbia. This is not a security concern for the inauguration. This is something else.